Searching for a top-notch option to create your Shopify mobile app? Introducing AppMaker, no-code app builder. This is a sample Shopify website store. Let me show you how you can create a native Android and iOS app for this store within a few minutes. To install the app, you will have to open your Shopify dashboard. The first thing to do here, head over to Apps, click right here, and then click on the green button that says Explore Apps. You will be driven to the Shopify App Store to find the best mobile app solution for your store. Type AppMaker in the search bar and press Enter. AppMaker provides a 14-day free trial to explore the app without any card commitments. Once you are on the AppMaker landing page, click Add App and you will be taken to an authorization page. These are the basic permissions you need Grand App Maker to function at its best. Once reviewed, click on Add Sales Channel. Now you have added AppMaker into your Shopify store. Welcome to the AppMaker dashboard. On the left side panel, under Online Store, you can see AppMaker added as a new channel. The main page of AppMaker dashboard will allow you to access all the information and control options that you need to create your app. Here we have a few basic instructions to help you set up the app. I'm closing this widget for now. You can access both Android and iOS previews here once the app is created. You can preview it using multiple options that allow you to visually experience the app in a mobile-sized screen. We will be doing this at the end of this video with our fully customized app. Let's move on to the next module, App Customization. On the left side of your AppMaker dashboard, you'll be able to see different options through which you can customize and control the look and feel of your app. By default, you will have two subcategories under the Customize App button. The first one is In-App Pages and the second one is the Menu. In-app pages allow you to create multiple custom pages that can be interlinked as your business demands. You can creatively use in-app pages to add categories and subcategories of products, offer pages, bestseller pages, and so on. The menu option just below in-app pages allows you to organize the menu as you need. Now let's start customizing. To start with, I'm editing the home page here. By default, you will have some sample blocks and collections available in your app's live preview. You can remove blocks, add new or rearrange them based on the requirements. You will get a list of options by clicking on the Add Block section. Add a banner, a grid, a menu, and other common blocks using this option. You also get an option to add a custom HTML block using the App Maker HTML block option. Now, let's add an image slider to the home page with a few clicks. Once you clicked on the slider, you will get the option to Add App Maker Slider. Let me click on Add button here and upload the right image for the slider. The image slider is one of the most engaging features in a mobile app. With App Maker, you can add mobile app actions to images and drive customers to important pages. You can choose from multiple options such as Open in-app pages, Web view, URL, product list, etc. I'm choosing Open Collections here. And let's choose this particular collection from the second drop-down. I'm adding Christmas Offer Collection here. Likewise, I've gone ahead and added a few more slider images and set the actions for it. I have used collections and pages with offers for this particular slider. Let's drag it to the top. This will act as the main banner of our mobile app. Now let's click on Save. We can remove old sections to our app homepage and replace them with much more engaging ones. I have removed all blocks except our slider. Now let's create a grid. Click on Add Block and select Grid and choose the number of columns you want to add. If you need a title for the grid, you can enable this button and enter the title. Once the title is added, let's click on Add Grid Item and select the options you need. I'm adding multiple categories here for a better user experience. 
users can right away jump into the right set of products they are looking for. Also, we can add beautiful banners with call to action like this one here. AppMaker provides you a pre built product scroller that automatically fetches the products from your store and shows them in your mobile app. Choose best selling products from the Choose Product Scroller option. This is how it's going to look in your app. Let me go ahead and create a few more options on the home page. So we have customized the home page and added all options we need. Once the home page is ready, we can create other landing pages for the mobile app. Click on In App Pages and click Add New Page. You will get a blank page with Add Block option. You can edit the page title in the right side settings bar. Let's start with an offer for our initial banner and click Save. I have designed and created the page exactly the same way we did for the home page. There are sliders, grids, banners, etc. I am creating a few more pages by clicking Add New Page. I have created pages for Offer, Cactus, Bonsai, and so on. These pages will be linked to each other to help customers drive to the best options they need. The entire architecture of the app can be designed using the Customize App section. Now we will explore how we can set up the menu. We already have a pre built menu available for the store. Let's customize it for the mobile version. I'm deleting all of it just to show you how to build one from scratch. Click on Add Menu Item to create a new menu. Enter the desired title and choose the menu type. You can either choose a label menu by clicking on the title or choose a menu item from the actionable menu. I am creating a menu item and direct this button to open an in app page from the available list. Here you also have an option to choose a menu icon. Choose an icon and let's go back to menu screen. I'm creating one more menu item using the similar method. And once done, click Add. By dragging the menu blocks, you can convert to a submenu. I have created multiple menus and submenus for this brand. Also, I have added the offers page, contact us page, etc. to the menu. You can also choose the right set of menu items and customize it based on your needs. Next is the Update App module. Once you have customized the app, you need to save the changes. Update App section gives you the general settings, such as change the app name, upload app icons, etc. Add or change the details as you need, and then click Style to decide the color scheme and style of your app. This section helps all basic branding requirements and decides how the app should look. For a basic or starter app, it is recommended to keep the website branding itself. Once options are set, then move on to the next. You can set up your Firebase configuration in the MISC section. Settings contain options for grocery mode with the particularly useful grocery apps. And we also have an option for language switcher. And finally, you can decide the languages you need the app to be in. If you want to add languages, you can just search for the language and add it. Once done, click on Update App. The app gets refreshed and built again with the changes you have made. Let's give it some time to load. Now let's take a look at our newly created mobile app. Click on the Preview option. You can access both Android and iOS previews here. You have two options to preview. One, you can download the APK file from the dashboard and install it on your device to see how it works. This option is only available to Android users. The second option allows you to upload the downloaded files to appetize.io, which will help you preview the app in your browser itself. I have downloaded the APK and installed it on my Android device. This is the icon of the mobile app we have created. Let's click on it and see our app. The home page looks neat with the right images and slider at the top. All the collections we have added are reflected here in the app. Click on the menu and see how it looks. Here are the submenu options. Let's have a quick glance at our pages. Here is how it looks. All the required options are added. Now let's try to buy one of the best selling products, select a product, and add it to the cart.
Here is how the cart looks. The selected product is in the cart. Just click Add or Minus to choose the number of products needed. You have the option to add coupons here. Now let's check out. Here we have options to create an account for new users and login options for existing ones. Back on the home page, we have a wishlist tab. Customers can add products to the wishlist. As we can see, all the updates made in the AppMaker dashboard are reflected here in the mobile app. This is how you can quickly create and customize a no code mobile app. Thank you for joining us in the AppMaker Shopify tutorial. Visit appmaker.xyz to convert your mobile application dream into reality.